Our officials this afternoon, Brian Dorsey, who has officiated a Final Four, Brooks Wells, and Kevin Brill. So the Wolverines come in at 8-19, and 19, clearly a disappointing season. Shatter inside, Reed over Edie. Well, it's been a tough season for him, as you mentioned, Kevin. It all started out in July when he had open heart surgery. He told us yesterday that he's finally, after the last 10 days, feeling better. Oh, what a shot by McDaniel to get things underway with a three. And Michigan with a good start to a three so far. They've played this team already in West Lafayette, and the Boilermakers won by 32. One of the most lopsided losses for the Wolverines, in fact, the biggest in 17 years. Kaufman ran on top. Edie is inside. Reed is on him. On the road in the conference, Purdue five and three. Smith got fancy, lost the ball. Defense by the Wolverines. Here comes Williams the other way into Jones and around Edie. Oh! And Michigan trying to change up the defensive looks a little bit. They a little pressure. Now they drop back into what looks like a matchup zone. Smith two. He is so good with that pull-up jump shot. Third leading score on the team against Rutgers, 13 points. Seven rebounds, five assists Thursday in West Lafayette. McDaniel with the read screen. He's knocked in another. Jones, Kaufman Wren, cross court. It is a three. Lawyer can't get it. Edie does. Jones, triple. And among other things, they do well, Kevin. They are an outstanding offensive rebounding team. It's very interesting. Michigan is sort of allowing Fletcher Lawyer to shoot the ball. He's not shot it well in the last few games, but you got to get that off the defensive rebound. Boy, and people were raving about his performance. Well, he's really an athletic guy. And Howard with a three. And they get a two. Foot was on the line. James Howard puts it in for Michigan with a five-point lead. Well, Michigan so far shooting it pretty well, and that's how they're keeping Purdue at bay. Edie high screen, they get the switch. Braden Smith will find Edie underneath, and there's no stopping a man that big at 7-4. Michigan's lead is at 7, the biggest this afternoon. It's Edie and Cheddar. There's just nothing Cheddar can do. George Washington, here's Jackson. Sounds like a game of presidents. Jackson will drive. <laughs> Nice defense by Kaufman Wren, forcing the turnover. And the other way coming is Braden Smith. Inside. Oh, Heidi. Outside three. Jones missed it all. The number two three point shooting team in college basketball. Only one of six from distance. Smith, three. No. Rebound. Jones. Oh, he came out of the rafters. Parachutes in and gives Purdue their first lead this afternoon. But that's six offensive rebounds in the game by Purdue. They're not making their threes, but they're rebounding the ball on the offensive end and they're getting it inside to Edie. Jackson, three. Oh. Oh, okay. But they've been getting it done on the inside. Edie is in. Cheddar is on him. Shot clock at 10. Braden Smith. Gillis free to fire from three. Nice shot. Well, remember, Michigan started out shooting 8 of 10, Kevin, and they've cooled off, and that's allowed Purdue to battle back into the lead. It has. Howard on top. Washington, three. Now, George Washington the third. you watch him in practice, and he's an excellent three-point shooter. He just hasn't found the range in games, so he's got to be very happy to see that one go in. He's only 4-16 all season. Smith, three, book it! Howard with a good screen. McDaniel will slither down the lane. Edie was waiting, turnover right there. It's Gillis, Smith, back to Gillis, thinking three goes by Howard and will penetrate. On conference and regular season. Ranked one and two in that category. Williams is chiseling and fires over Smith. Terrence Williams has just put in his fifth point. He averages 12. And he's coming off a game of 13 against Northwestern. The rugged Wildcats winning that one over the Wolverines on Thursday. Chris Collins and his team. Another good job. Edie inside. Cheddar defends. Gathering himself. And that's the result. Rebound by Gillis. Nice move. Look at the flying Jones. Oh, he's an acrobat. Jones thinking three. Smith, Jones, 
And the Boilermakers get into the big man, Edie, and it will crawl in 15 points. Rebound, Doug McDaniel. Quickly the other way, pedal to the metal. Tapped in, Cheddar. Chase down, Gillis retrieves it. Got the 50-50 ball. Smith from three. Smith with the rebound. Outside, Jones, triple. He was on fire. Half minute to go here in the first half. It's been hard for him to find room, though, mm -hmm. recently, Kevin. Williams fade away. Pretty shot. And he right now has got a battle inside on Kaufman Wren. Outside, lawyer three. And it finally goes in. You don't care what he does. You'd like to have him back for March. Edie, Kaufman Wren, bumping off bodies and finds the deuce. Edie's made himself a much better passer. Knocked away, a turnover. That's five. Racing the other way, McDaniel on the breakaway. Could not get it to go, and finally put back up and in. Reed lassos the ball and saves it for the Wolverines. It's a Burnett three. And Michigan, just like that, has gotten the deficit to single digits. And he threw the ball right past McDaniel's ear. Now, McDaniel ended up picking up the foul. Now, that could have been a turnover. Smith. Edie, 21, and he's got nine rebounds. Menu for Edie and what he has done with a very little luck for Lawyer today. That was a wide open three. McDaniel on the move and picked up by Smith, who's all gas and no break and finds Lawyer. Those two work well together. They sure do. And you're right about Smith, he just goes. Mm. I mean, you have to find him early in transition, get him to somehow slow down. Jackson will take it inside the paint and pop it over Gillis. Jackson does that very well, Kevin. He really is pretty good at putting it down and taking the ball to the basket. He's got seven right now for the Wolverines. He averages five. And the Wolverines still hanging around, Kevin. Blown out in West Lafayette back in January by 32. Smith on the run, puts in another. Staying in the Big Ten after this one. With McDaniel and about seven minutes gone, finding Jackson for three. Rebound, Gillis, back to Jones, free to fire. Picked up by McDaniel, here he goes, four on one, off to Howard. Now the Michigan faithful in full throat, the closest it's been this half. Edie, Cheddar tried to stop him. Working under that basket, something Steve Nash always did at Santa Clara. Inside Edie. They cannot stop him. Burnett. Working to get free and fires. And that was over Braden Smith. And five for Burnett. If you just watch the game, you think, okay, Purdue must be ahead by more than 10 points, but it's still just a 10-point game. A couple of stops, a couple of threes, and this becomes interesting. Lawyer there. Now three of eight shooting. And like we said, he's been struggling with his shot. Now six of 28 over the last uh, four plus games. They've just got so many guys who can hurt you, which makes right. it very hard to defend. It's Burnett curling in on Smith. Plowing and over Edie he gets it to go. Passed away and that has been on his mind. He says every game, every practice. It's Burnett, a thicket of defenders, but he still gets it to go. He shoots that little runner in the lane far enough away from Edie that Edie can't get to it. And, and they, they're maintaining this 10-point game. Hanging around's a deadly thing for a high-ranked team. Without any question. Smith, Kaufman ran. And he had great position underneath the hole. The NCAA tournament last year, and they have been, they just lost recently to Creighton, but they've been pretty dominant this year, too.
Nifty little move right there by Doug McDaniel. There's 17 points for the Wolverine. We talk about how well Purdue plays on offense. That was just very poor, poorly executed. That Good looking drive inside. Howard is on him. Smith. Gillis, three. Good! Big time triple. The answer is not necessarily if you have guys who can make threes. And Gillis has had his fair share of threes today, a couple of them. Williams against Royer. Burnett's outside, his three. Good! Back and forth we go. Shot. Everybody follows Edie. And when you run to that spot where Edie was, he's going to. The Boilermakers go to 25 and 3. And their lead in the Big Ten goes to two and a half games over Illinois.